to Shannon with Shannon McTie Photography. I'm going to be editing this photo with the Tiny Dancer Collection. This photo was shot in Ireland a little bit earlier this summer. It was with my 50mm 1.2 and with my Canon R6. So usually with the photos, I come over here to foundational prep work if I haven't done any kind of prep work at all, and I start right here. This photo, though, I am going to play around and actually come down here to the artistic color grading. There's one in here that I really love, and it's it can be a little bit intense. So when you play it, sometimes starting with one of these first, I have found really helped with the colors. So I'm actually going to come down here and start first with this, the Rocket Man. I love the colors of this. And you can see it's pretty intense and I love it. I like the colors that it gives. I'm going to just lower it though to about 75%. So that's before and that's after. And then I'll flatten or merge. And then I'm going to come back up to where I was originally and I am going to play one of the foundational prep work. I'm going to play this one just as shot. I love this one when I have brown tones or if I'm looking for a really brown moodier image, this is a really great one. So I'm going to hit play. And as you can see, it really made the skin have that kind of milky, creamy effect, but it also gave a lot more brown tones to the image. So I'm going to play this one, but I'm going to just lower it a tiny bit to like 80%. I like it pretty strong. So before and after. And then either merge or flatten. And then I'm going to come down to exposure and I'm just going to add a touch of exposure. Just one plus. I love it. And I will merge that. The next thing I want to do is I want to do a little bit of dodging and burning. So for me, the way I dodge and burn is it's kind of like a painterly style of dodging and burning where I burn the entire image and then I dodge by erasing. So I'm going to come here to darken then dodge and hit play continue, continue. So you can see that it's made the image incredibly rich. What I'm going to do is focus on where my highlights are, where I want my viewer's eyes to go, and do I need to shape the light in any way. So I typically, let me get a black brush. I will go, I usually stay between 40 and 50 percent when I'm erasing. I'm going to stay with a big brush to start and kind of shape my light. So come this way and go this way. And then I'm going to go a little bit on the grass down here because it's just so dark. And I've found that if it's re that dark when I dodge and burn, then erasing a little bit is helpful. Then I'm going to get a smaller brush and I'm just going to go over the highlights. So whenever I go over faces, I make sure to go over their necks. Otherwise, it looks a little funny if you do one and not the other. And then I'm going to go over where I see the highlights in the shirt and her arm. But for me, this is a really easy way to see where all the highlights are and to dodge and burn correctly. I get a little bit on where the grass is real dark over here. Perfect. And then you can see all my brushwork right here. Oh, maybe I'll erase a little bit. Okay. And then you can see all my brushwork to the right down here. I'm going to grab my opacity and drop it to zero and then just slowly pull it up to where I like it. And I think about 60% is where I want it. So strong, but not too strong. This is before and after. And then you can merge or flatten it. The next thing I want is I'm going to come down here to major lift. So major lift, it brightens your photo, but just like in a soft way, whereas exposure is more harsh. So I'm going to do major lift which gives it just a soft brightening. And then I am going to erase it off my sky and mountains. I'm gonna get it pretty high around 100%. Just erase it right off of there. Maybe a little bit off the top of the grass back here. What this is before and after. And I will merge or flatten. The next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna apply a matte each one of these mattes, they're a little bit different in color, and also they get darker and darker, I feel like. So somber matte's super dark. It's like this dark black matte. I'm going to hit play. I rarely run this and play it at 100%. I usually will decrease the opacity quite a bit. So for this one, I'm going to decrease it to about 25% and then get a big brush. And 50%, I'm just going to erase it off my subject a little. 
So that's before and that's after. And I like the dark haze it puts over the rest of the image. So I'm going to merge that. And then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to just play into the moodier styling and editing and go down to the glittered film grain. Hazy is my favorite because it does create this hazy look along with the grain. And I will hit play, continue. And then you can see like before and after just that kind of filmy vibe it gives. Me personally, I like to take a little bit off of my subject. So 50%, I'll just take it off. And then I do tend to lower the opacity of the green. So I'll lower it to like 50 or 60. It's before and that's after. That's just a personal preference. Some people don't even want grain. Some people want it very strong. If you like it and you want it stronger, you can come down here and do the, the glittered film one, the booming bass, or try playing them together because they're both a little bit different. So you can stack them if you like a lot of green. And then you can merge that. And then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to play the soft feather boa. I am absolutely obsessed with this section. So this gives like this magical, whimsical, creamy, but like moody coloring. I, I'm obsessed. So I'm going to do the clean one and just hit play. I'm going to hit continue. You can see just how creamy it is, how it adds like this gorgeous, warm, creamy color. I don't know. It's just really pretty. But I am going to erase it again at like 50% just right off my subject. I just don't want it that soft on them. And then I'll lower it to like 60%. So this is before and this is after. And then I merge or flatten it. And then the next thing, I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to do a shadow lifter. And this is just going to lift the shadows. And I'm really going to go over any spots that I just think are getting a little dark. So, and I usually do, when I'm doing all my like brush work, it's usually between 40 and 50% because I can brush it as many times as needed. And I'm just going to go over their face a little the pants where it gets a little dark in the trees and grass right here perfect so that's before and that's after it's subtle i notice it and i feel like each subtle thing adds on to each other and then it obviously makes a big difference so i'm going to merge it and then the next thing i'm going to do is come up here I'm going to go to the color pop section and I'm going to play faded denim. I like this kind of cooler vibe it gives and I love that. It's just a little stronger than what I'm looking for for this image. So I'm going to lower it. That's before. That's after. I love that. And then I'll merge that. And then let's do, let's do a pop. So we're going to do a combo pop. So the highlight pop is going to make your highlights obviously pop. The shadow pop's gonna deepen your shadows and really make them stand out. And then combination is exactly that. It's a combination of the two. And for this image, I'm gonna see what this looks like. Hit play. And I like that a lot. I'm just gonna lower my opacity to like 50 before and after. Perfect. And then I'm gonna come back down here. Let's see. And I'm going to go to major lift again. So again, anytime I want like a little more light on the photo, I usually will play this and command I. So I'm inverting it. And then I am going to just paint it on anywhere I want to make it a little bit brighter, like a soft bright. I might even tap it on them a little, but for the most part, it's just the grass. This is before and after. I love that. And flatten, honestly, I'd call that done. I absolutely love the way this looks. Let's go back up here. So if you want to see the before, this is where we started. Oh, that's a big difference. And then this is after. Before. After. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want any more information on the Tiny Dancer collection, please go to www.greaterthangodspeed.com. Thanks, guys.